<laughs> That's better, eh? Yeah. And we're back. Speed squat day, max effort deadlift day. And I am not sure how visually apparent it was during yesterday's vlog, but I was freaking laboring, just mentally drained and talking to the camera was really difficult. And like the nice part about figuring out the rehab stuff is that at the end of a meat prep years ago, I would be both mentally drained and physically smashed to shit and everything hurt. So like what's nice about now is nothing hurts. I'm just freaking tired. And it's almost like because I can know how to get to preps without shit being beat up that I'm almost more tired because I can train harder because shit isn't beat up, but that's beside the point. Today is still gonna be a bit of a light day. And I've talked about it before, but in conjugate, if you need to take an outright deload, 99% of the time, it means that you screwed up. Because like, if this was just a normal week in a normal training cycle, and I didn't have a meet in three and a half weeks, I would just take this fatigue, do normal max effort work, let the fatigue limit the max effort work, and that would be enough of a pullback to let me carry through the rest of the cycle. But because this is that 1% time, I'm at the very end of a peak and I feel like this, I'm gonna err on the side of caution, take this day on the max effort pulls pretty darn light, use it as an opportunity to get dialed in with sub max weights, and really just try to set myself up to perform as well as I can on the platform because Previous meat preps, I felt like this at three and a half weeks out and I said, fuck it, I'm gonna send it anyways. And then even though I'm still able to do okay at the end of the prep, it's like, because I sent it when I was fatigued and then I sent it again afterwards, I was carrying so much fatigue that I didn't have enough time to pull it off in time for the meat. So I'm just learning from my mistakes and trying to figure things out better as I go. But plan for squats is gonna be similar to last week. Just gonna run some 1.5s again. Might do less sets depending on how they feel, but. We'll figure that out as we go. And like, oh, go ahead. <laughs> and like, the sooner I can feel dialed in here, the sooner I can stop squatting. So motivation to feel dialed in is high. And I can definitely tell that I had a big squat on Sunday, but like other than feeling a little physically slowed down, not as poppy, like feels pretty solid. So there might be some hope for today. And 150 kilos on the bar again for work sets. Same things the last two weeks, but same as the last two weeks. I'm not really trying to get a strength stimulus out of these as much as I'm just making sure that I'm feeling the groove. Good. Good. Yep. <laughs> I gotta do four sets just for Darrell's sake. Yep. 
Good. Okay, right? Good. Lock her in. Big lots. What? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Nailed. And that felt a little bit better than I was expecting. And like, how I know when I'm squatting right is Number one, am I feeling nothing but glutes on my pick? I mean, obviously I'm gonna feel like some stuff on the glutes on my pick, but like, is the pick coming from squeezing my butt cheeks? And number two, do I feel pushing into my belt through the entire rep? And both of those boxes were ticked from the very beginning. So very, very, very stoked for that. Cause a lot of times my Wednesday speed squat, like I kind of got a figure it out and find it as I go. But this is the first Wednesday in a freaking long time that it was like right there from the very beginning. So just in the nick of time and like with squats feeling better than expected, I got to remember that the big picture, the plan and not overshooting that plan on pulls. And I think that the plan is to just do a handful of singles in about a last warm up range. And I'm going to try to dial in some slight technical modifications with those last warm-up singles. And technical changes in question, I am committing to pulling sumo on meat day. Did anyone actually believe that? No, I'm just gonna be working on trying to have either like a softer pump so the plates aren't floating, or I might try a couple where I don't pump at all and see if I can make that work. Just cause I'm a little bit afraid of the potential of having plates pop early and getting red lights for that. Might work. And I used to not pump when I was in multiply gear. And like just the trick to that versus the pump in is I basically just got to commit to pulling it sooner. So let's commit to pulling it sooner. I mean, feels good so far. It's light though, so we'll see. Yeah. Okay, let's see if this is actually gonna work. That's gonna work. Forgot to record Darrell's 220, but it moved really, really fast. So no worries, guys. Nope. Woo! Feet spun on the floor. Huh? Feet spun on the floor. <laughs> this platform is so freaking slippery, but Dorel likes it, so I'll suffer through it. Yeah. Okay, so I need a little bit more assertiveness, a little bit more pull into the quads, then a little bit harder quad push off the floor. So I definitely don't like that as much as pumping in. So we're gonna try a softer pump, see if I can put or keep the plates on the floor. Durrell's off of the same schedule as me. So this is gonna be his last heavy pull. So he's going up. So I'll let him do that before I drop down, take another.
There you go. Okay, let's dial the pump. <laughs> that's better, eh? Yeah. Okay, pump it is. Yes, that settles it. Softer pump is going to work. I was kind of hoping that the no pump would work, but just like having that extra time to build tension and put tension in the quads does me well. And like if I can not float 270, whatever the hell that is in the bar, if I can like not float that, like I'm going to open around 310, we're going to be good to go. And Durrell's going 360, setting himself up for a big pull. So let's have fun watching, spectating, because I am not pulling that today. There you go. Okay. Let's go. Pull it. Let's go. Go. Yes! There you go. Got milk. And like with how the hips are feeling, my first thought was, let's run some light sumos. And I was like, do I really want to pull sumo today? And I went over, tried some reps in the belt squat to see if I could get the feel I wanted. And I still hate belt squats. So light sumos it is. That's the ticket. And I got Canada's best sumo puller standing behind me, so I don't know if I want to do this in front of him. On a scale of one to terrible, where do you put that? Oh, fuck. I, 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 I couldn't watch. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> got some professional sumo coaching, so let's see if this looks a little bit less Horrendous. I feel so vulnerable this spread open. Okay. One more of these bullshits. Yeah, a little little less wide. Not gonna listen to Joel. It's not like he's a real doctor or something. And like, it's not pretty, but it's gonna do what I needed to do. And I wanna run something easier than a Nordic, but I still want that hard ham snap. So, got my lovely assistant here, helping with some ISO GHR. So she's gonna push in my traps. I to contract as hard as I can. She's gonna let go. And I'm just gonna blast up. And like, they're not as gnarly as a Nordic, they are a lot gnarlier Wait, than a regular GHR. Gnarly to snevel is at least adequate. Yeah. Why are you so awkward on camera? Can I do this? No. Why? You wanna do ISOs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Push. Good. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with how hard I have to push. I'm not doing terrible. And round two. Sick. Good. Let's go. And like, let me get my hands on you before you start coming. Okay. There you go. And we're going for like a friendly two count, kinda. Like a fast two count. 
The kind of two count you'd give yourself if you were programmed two count pauses. <laughs> and like, if you don't have a friend, easy way you can replicate this is just put something heavy underneath the GHR so you can grab onto it, pull up into it, and then let go. It'll kind of be able to get a similar effect. And more just light supinated rows, trying to stretchy stretch, squeezy squeeze. You guys know the drill by this point. And again, like with this, not trying to get stronger, just trying to maintain range of motion, maintain connection to the upper back and just make sure that I'm not going to lose it into the meat. And like, if you're like the maintenance style accessory work, you don't need a ton to get the job done. Rhyme, unintentional. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and like, it kind of is a bit of a mind fuck to do this at the end of the prep because it does in a way feel lazy, but the stronger you get, the more lazy you can afford to be right at the end. Like if you're lazy at the beginning, you're gonna be fucked, but like the pushing at the beginning is what's gonna allow me to get something out of the relative laziness that I'm having right now. Ah. Oh, Justine's squatting big. Woo! Oh, she's going for another? Oh boy. I wish the camera was pointed that way because that is way more exciting. <laughs> yeah, she got it. Big triple. Ah. And that's enough. And been cooking hip flexors pretty hard with torso training. So we're gonna do something a little bit more rectus, abdominus -y with the spud strap standing abs and like here all it is is i'm kind of flex my glutes make sure i am extended as much as i can with the setup get my hamstrings braced against like the thigh pads and then it's just abs on rib cage down curl to the bottom and the ab contraction you get can get here is absolutely dirty and just feels really 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 nice and all you gotta do here is just get us some reps, let the abs work, and reap the rewards of not having a pathetic little weak torso of a prepubescent child, which so many powerlifters have because they don't do their torso work hard enough. And you don't wanna be the guy that doesn't train the torso hard enough because then your squat and your deadlift are gonna suck. So, no sucky squats and deadlifts allowed if you're watching this YouTube channel. I mean, like, I guess they're allowed right now, but a year from now, we got to get better. Let's go. Spectating squats again while doing accessories. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Head back. Yep. Sick. Good double. <sighs> These are so nice too. Like just to drive it home. It is hard to get this level of ab contraction on anything else that I found. Yeah. And that is that. Light week is definitely doing the trick, even if we are early into it. Like comparing how I feel now to how I normally feel after a Wednesday, we are much, much, much fresher. And like squats, they felt freaking dialed. And with the pulls, like I probably should have known better than to experiment with the no pump at this far out. But like the problem of like having the plates pop on my wedges, like that would have been a very simple solution to solve it had it actually worked. So like, in a way I'm glad I tried it just so that I know that the softer pump is gonna be the better option. And like that worked well enough that I am not worried about it at all come meet day. Cause like, even though we didn't have the place like a millimeter off the ground on the second pump with that 595, like 
when I have an actual opener weight on there, like there's going to be an extra plate on the bar. So there's going to be more weight holding those outside plates down and there's going to be more length as well. So ain't worried about it in the slightest. And like, I was going to say that I've never been called on that before in a meet, but then I remembered that my last CPU meet Canadian IPF affiliate in single ply, I almost bombed with 501 of the deadlift because my first two attempts, like I opened super light because I knew I was going to be tired after a big squat. But like my first two attempts with 501, like with the deadlift suit on, that sucker was just like floating left, right, and center. And the judges were not too friendly for that. So I haven't called in it once, but we ain't getting called on that a second time. So overall, very, very stoked with where we are in this prep very 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 excited to get on the platform and like really i'm just grateful to have had this prep even though it definitely was not easy at times to be here this soon after the pack i'm stoked so guys thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting the channel peace out have a good night